But this drawer, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> when I put everything in it and organized, it was like, you know how they do it on TV, like the, ah. <laughs> when you open it? Yeah, that's what I felt when, with this drawer. Okay, so I was going to clean up, but I thought, no, Hold on. but I thought, no, I'm not going to clean up. I'm going to keep it real because if it is ever cleaned up, it lasts for, if it lasts for five minutes, then that's really good. Because as soon as I start to play, it's a mess. So I'm keeping it real. This And this is actually pretty good compared to what it usually looks like. So you walk in. I'm going to turn it for a minute. You walk in and I always... There's always been a mess right here. Always. I don't know if that's ever been bare. And then you come in, and there's my sewing table. Okay, I'm going to flip it back around. So you walk in, and okay, this usually isn't here. I just bought this. Okay, so here is my sewing table that is askew. Probably got hit. Okay, my husband built this table for me because I didn't want anything big. I just wanted something big enough for the sewing machine to sit on. And underneath, I have a basket with my papers in, just different types of paper like mixed media, watercolor, Bristol, tracing, sketching, all different kinds of paper. And then this thing this drawer unit. It has art foamies. So I did have it so let me zoom. I used to have it so that it was divided by designers. Like this is art by Marlene's art foamies. And balls are designs. I know there's some Cat Kerr, Rebecca Meyer. Not sure, there's Red Red Tin Roof and some other ones, but it's gotten all mixed up. And I also, since I got my sewing machine, I put some of my sewing things in it. So when I move upstairs, I'm thinking I am going to use this one for sewing. I think I'm going to put my fabrics and my threads and my book, like anything to do with sewing. I think I'm going to use this one for that. So here we have some of these cube, I don't know what to call them, drawer units. They're from Michaels. So currently... I am not good at this video camera stuff. <laughs> I'm used to the camera just being in its fixed position, and that's it. Oh my goodness, this one's heavy. So there's my dies. I feel like I would do so much better if I used my phone. So we have these. I'm not going to pull out every drawer because, well, see, it's tough. But there's dies. I guess I am pulling them all out. 
and I haven't purchased any dies in forever. And this one has dies in embossing folders. I don't think I'll change that. I think I will leave that how I have it currently stored. This one is Thickers. Again, like I said, a lot of this stuff is from my scrapbooking days. But maybe I'll use it in mixed media, so that's why I haven't thrown them out. And then this one, same idea, it's just stickers. And I haven't thrown these out either because sometimes, like, there's some rub ons in there. Oh, there was. I don't know where they are now. Oh, there's the rub ons. And sometimes they're cool for mixed media, like for under the layers. I'm sure there is a lot of stuff there I could get rid of, though. And this is, again, all for my scrapbooking days acrylics, like for albums. Like, I really don't think I'll ever use this one. So, maybe I really should purge and get rid of things. Chipboard. Bling. Which, I'm not a huge bling girl, so... I don't know. And these units down here that are storing my 12x12 paper... My husband made those for me. And see, this area, this area is always messy as well. So I have an easel back there that my husband had made for me that sits on my desk. And there's some extra wood that I wouldn't let him throw out because I feel like I'll use it for something. I have art resin, which I've been wanting to do but still haven't done anything with it. An extra tripod because my other one's attached to the ceiling and it's too hard for me to get down. Then I have some paintings that I'm working on. I'm loving this old couple but I don't want to finish it until I'm upstairs in my new room. On top I store, this is my sari ribbon and my 8.5 by 11 cardstock. And then I have some ribbons in those. And we attach these wooden rails so I could poke as many holes in there as I want. And I just like to hang some of my artwork up there. This is another painting I like that I did. And here, I love these shelves. They're from Ikea. They're old, and I will be keeping them. I just, I know I won't be using them for the wooden stamps because I next to never use the wooden stamps anymore. The odd time I will, like some of these design ones I'll use. Me and my parents. Yeah. So then we have my island. And yes, that is how messy it always is. Always. Like I said, if I clean it, it's clean for five minutes tops, and then it's messy again. So I'm going to go to my desk and then I'll go back to my island. Um, my husband made this part and the other part there and then I did the paint finish on it. Same with my island. My husband made it and then I painted it. So I will show you the side. Let me try to get some light behind me. That helps a little. So, we did it so there's, ooh, a very dusty printer, <laughs> a pull-out tray for my printer, and then this drawer stores my printer paper and photo paper and some extra ink cartridges, and the one below just has um, my camera bag, 
and extra lenses that I never use because I never take pictures anymore. And I have this like letter tray thing or whatever you want to call it. And it's always piled up too much. This is one thing that bothers me that I do. And it's my fault. I mean, I'm the one that's doing it. But it's all, like, this is actually pretty good. Usually this is all cluttered as well. I am bad for laying things down and not putting it away. And I would love, like, when I go upstairs, I would love for my desk area to be just, like, my computer, my keyboard, my mouse. Like, I don't mind having those little cups. Like, I love these cups. I got them... Uh, I don't know, some store on the beach when my friend and I went to the beach. And I love them. So I like having little things like this. I don't mind having that on the desk. But I don't want all the clutter, like all the extra stuff. Like my B12 is there because if not, I'll forget to take it. I do like having this shelf above my desk, which again my husband made for me. But I don't think I will do it upstairs. On the one desk, I won't be able to because it's going in front of a window. So I don't think if it comes upstairs, it won't be going in the same situation. Oh, my dog is barking. <laughs> so as we go further down, hold on. Okay. So these, okay, I'm going to wait until my dog stops barking. Oh, and I forgot before I move on, I'll show you this one here. I wanted, like it was just going to be a leg, and I asked if we could make it a storage, like a, kind of like a vertical storage. I'm not good at <laughs> explaining things, but luckily my husband and I have been together long enough that he can understand my language <laughs> after a while of explaining things so I have just some books with information that if I don't write it down I will forget and on this side of it I have my paper trimmer and my Yubo paper and then my scoreboard so little things like that. And underneath you can see it's a huge mess. There is a foot. I don't know if I'm going to get the lighting good enough. Okay, here we go. So this is a crate that I bought at Staples. So it is actually meant for filing. Because it has a little ledge inside that the files sit on and that's how I store all my crafters workshop stencils but I'm thinking when I go upstairs if it fits I'm going to try and use we have a filing cabinet that we're not using well there's stuff in it but we never go in it and the bulk of it could be gone so I'm thinking if it fits I'm going to try putting it in the filing cabinet and still store my stencils that way because I love it and I'll go into more detail in another video about my stencil storage so underneath there's another wooden thing that my husband made for me that fits just one minute it's gonna be shaky Ooh, <laughs> see stuff I haven't done in a while and I've forgotten about. There's some nice stuff in here that I made. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> if it's all these bins that you get from Michael's. And I used to have it for scrapbooking where like I had one for my daughter, one for my son, one for me, like every like every 
theme or whatever that I may scrapbook for. And everything else is just a mess. Like there was a footstool so if I sat at my desk I could put my feet up. Because it drives me crazy to have my feet on the floor. I know, I'm weird. But yeah. So on top... We have this cutting mat that I tried so hard to keep clean and it just, it didn't happen. No matter how hard I tried, it just, it became messy. Oh well. And my husband made this for me, this pen storage, because before and I'm sure I will find more when I go through my room and clean everything. Sorry, shaking. But I found my pens were everywhere. And if I wanted certain type, like pens for drawing or my Poscas, like they were just everywhere and I wanted them all in one spot. So I got my husband to make that thing for me. And, like, this kind of stuff, like, do I really need this? <laughs> like, I feel like I create little areas that I know darn well it's going to become a catch-all and just a mess. So if I could somehow have less of that, that would be great. I just have some books on the shelf and my speakers for my computer. A candle holder that my mother-in-law gave me with my name on it. And then I just have some pictures inside, me and my mom. And these cute wooden things I got at a craft fair thing. I just thought they were cute. This thing is actually from the dollar store, and I think it's really nice. I just keep some extra pens in there. That's a mug my daughter gave me for Mother's Day. And some lotion. And the art thingies. You know what they're called. I don't. <laughs> Another painting I did. Gordon Downey. So then we have, my husband made this for me because this is pretty deep and I wanted storage but I don't know. It works but I'm just messy so I don't think I'll continue with that upstairs. I don't know. Ideally, I would like to not have a ledge, I think, because if this is here, as you see, I'm just going to lay crap down on it, and it's going to become a mess. So yeah, I don't think I will have that in the upstairs space. But I love this part. See, this one, sorry if I move too fast. I bought this one at Michael's and it was just two and then an empty shelf and then these sections and I love these like I think these are great like I have scrap paper in that one and letter stickers in this one and so I got my husband to make me another tray to fit in the other spot and I put my wooden alphabets stamps in there and then I liked that idea so much and I liked having the trays so my husband made me all these trays so I have again, more pens and some acrylic blocks in this one that's a project I'm working on and a couple large stamps that don't fit anywhere else. It's another project I'm working on. This one 
just some old papers. Again, more projects that I forget about that I make and don't use because they're poked away and I forget forget about them. It's another handmade album. There has been stuff in it. I know there is. Yeah. That's like get started. But I didn't finish. Some more stamp sets that are bigger from Robin Marie Smith's store that she had. Some Robin Marie cloth sheets. And I do have some of her stickers. I think it's in the other drawer. And that's another album that I made that I love. I should do a flip through of it. It's really pretty. But I haven't done anything more in it. This one. Oh, that has some gel prints in it. I forgot about those. Hmm. But see how this is just a catch-all for all kinds of stuff. Like I have Sizzix stuff in there. But it's just a mess. Like this is mostly gel prints. <laughs> Plus I have a big box somewhere with gel prints in it. And I don't know how much longer I'm going to get out of my battery. Here we have my Dilesian journals. This is my Art by Marlene journal. And my stamps from her that I love. And my 6x6. Six um, stencils from the crafters workshop and just some odds and ends and these are from like scrapbooking and project life stuff that I don't know kind of wonder if I'll ever use it and some Heidi swap stuff Oops. It's just embellishments, some of the Tim Holtz words, and the Tim Holtz people. It's just some odd die cuts. And up top, I have just my deco art foil and some wooden beads in jars. Sorry. <laughs> Would help if I actually showed you what I was talking about. Some wooden beads, some buttons. I have alcohol inks and that's just a container from a dollar store and they fit the alcohol inks perfectly. And some marbling and this my husband gave me for Christmas and I still haven't played with any of the stuff. Like there's different kinds of mediums and paste and all kinds of different stuff. And he also got me that unicorn because I love that part in Despicable Me where she gets the unicorn and she's shaking and saying it's so fluffy. <laughs> yeah, I love that part. And he made me that little stand for my Dina Wakely paints because they were poked away and I was never using them. So I said, well, if they're out where I can see them, I'll use them. And I don't use them. <laughs> so I really need to get into using my stuff more. And I wanted these paints so bad. The Art Alchemy, I am not zoomed. Hold on. It is not in focus. I wanted those Art Alchemy paints so bad and then I got them and I haven't really used them. They're not like I thought they were going to be but they do have a different kind. I can't remember what they're called 
but I think there's another kind that they have that would be more of what I was looking for. Those are very, very liquidy and runny and, I don't know, just not my thing. But the colors, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. So I'm going to try to get into using them. Then I have some Jelly Art paints that were given to me when, oh my goodness, I am horrible at this camera thing. Can you tell this is my first tour where I actually have to hold the camera? I'm much better with a camera on a tripod. So anyway, these Jelly Art paints are from when I was on the Art Foamies design team and we did a collab with Jelly Arts. They're, I think they're okay if I remember correctly. I don't think I would go out and buy them, but they're alright. I have some Amsterdam ink, some Liquitex ink, that stuff can be fun. Some high flow golden paints, some Liquitex paints, heavy body, I bought them to try because they were on clearance. I can't really tell you much about those because I haven't used them enough or maybe at all. Actually, I think I used them in my 31 products challenge that Berheat put on one year. I think that's the only time I've used them so far. We have some mini albums that I made. Some more. That's just paper clips that I've made and done. Project that I started and haven't finished. Some clay things. See, I like doing way too many things. Like I made these two guys, not this one, that's from the dollar store, but these guys I made from clay and I enjoy doing it and I need, to, I want to do more of it, but there's just not enough time to do all the things that I want to do. So yeah, some more albums that I made, that's... Can't think of her name. Oh, darn it. <laughs> there we go. Her book. <laughs> that I have purchased and not read. Oh, goody, didn't break. There's the Art Foamies. Um, it was a tutorial idea for a storage tin for our artist trading coins. All kinds of papers. And I have a heater in here because I'm always cold. <laughs> so this drawer, I love these big drawers. Love them. Hold on, I have something behind me. So I have my paper punches in here. I don't know if I will continue to store them this way or not. Like, it's a great way to store them. It's just I don't use them very often. So I don't know if I want to use one of my drawers for it. Like, I think I could better, I can make better use of the drawer. And this, it was just covered with shelves, but I wasn't using it. Like it was, I was using it, but it was hard to get anything out of it. So my husband made me these drawers to go inside. And I just have fabric and sewing stuff in it. So I'm thinking I would like to take all that, and I'm going to move, <laughs> and put it in that rolling cart thing. And then for it to be next to my sewing machine so all my sewing stuff is in one spot. And then underneath it is just books. Like when I was getting into the whole planner thing. Yeah, I found I spent more time decorating the pages and it was so time consuming that I wasn't actually getting to do anything that I was writing in the planner. So what was the point? So I gave up that hobby. 
So all of these cabinets here, they're from Home Depot. And honestly, they're cheap crap. <laughs> they are. I'm sorry, but they are. It's fine if, you know, you don't want to spend too much money. Like, I can't remember how much they cost. But my husband could make something way better. But I'm still going to use them. This drawer, like I said, I love these big drawers. See, and this is how I make things cluttered. This is a big tray with that I got at the dollar store. And it just has a bunch of scraps that I don't want to throw out. And this is my washi tape drawer. Isn't that pretty? And this storage works great. Like, I know there's probably lots of wasted space. But I like it. These containers are from the dollar store. Maybe it'll be easier to take out a side one. Ooh. So you can get them different lengths. This is a shorter length one. And then they have the longer. And you can also get them, they're um, about that big, like a square. So yeah, that's all my washi tape that I barely use. So this is another drawer that my husband modified for me because I didn't want my silhouette out on the desk because it needs, like the silhouette needs room behind it and it needs room in front of it. So if you have it on your desk, you can't put anything around it. And this drawer is a mess right now. But it didn't used to be this bad. This one used to actually remain clean. Okay, I'm going to remove this stuff and then I'll show you. Okay, so now I will try showing you. So the drawer opens and this top drawer comes out as well. But you can also push it back to get at stuff underneath. Isn't that awesome? So under here, look, see? More pens and Sharpies. This is a light box that I got on clearance at Michael's. Oh, darn. For, like, I think it was like 15 bucks. And it's awesome. have the envelope punch board thingy. And some stuff for the silhouette. So then this drawer pulls out. And you will have enough room behind it for the paper to feed through. And then enough room in front of it for it to move. So this is awesome. And that will stay that way upstairs. The bottom drawer. Hmm. Not even sure. Oh yeah. Hear that? See, that's another thing we're going to do when we go upstairs. We're going to put this on legs. So it can open easier. It's just a bunch. Let me focus. Just a bunch of odds and ends. From my scrapbooking days. There's stickers. And planner days. Yeah, this is mostly planner stuff. And there's some foam stamps, more stickers, wood veneers, and binder clip thingies, bulldog clips, that's what they're called, baby wipes, some clay, the melting pot, just a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> and we have, my husband made this for me as well. This thing is great. I wanted something so my heat gun could be off the desk. Because you know how if you put it down, like, it's either in the way or it falls. So I wanted a holder that I could, like, easily grab it and put it back. And then with a little add a bonus of a charger, spot for my charger. And it just fits in there really nicely. So nice having a handy husband. Um, 
yeah, more mess. And in order to open these, I always have to move my mess. So on the bottom, I don't even know what's down there. Oh, page protectors in that container. There's page protectors. I think that one might have some stencils in it that I don't even remember. Oh, it's just things that you can use. And I think some handmade stencils, like with the silhouette anyway. A project that I worked on that I didn't finish. The one time I actually the 10K is my husband, the 5K is me, and I sucked. <laughs> Some more page protectors. Oh, there's a paper hole punch. And more page protectors. Whew. And that's all my modeling paste and stuff and gesso from the crafters workshop my old slice which I'm pretty sure it doesn't need to come upstairs with me because I don't use it anymore that was before my silhouette days odd stuff some mixed paint I guess some made cards some hand sanitizer and petroleum jelly. It's for um, the gel plate for trying different techniques. See? Mess, mess, mess. My Sizzix, which I would like, I like having it out because there's more, more of a chance I'll use it if it's out like this. Like I don't want it packed away anywhere. So I need a spot for that to be out. Okay, so this is something else my husband made for me. It's an ink pad storage for my Distress Oxide inks. I'm thinking down the road, like so far I have all the Distress Oxide ink pads that are out. But I do not have all of the regular Distress inks. So if I do decide to get all of the regular Distress ink pads, it's a mouthful, then I think I'm going to get him to make me two more. So I can put the regular inks in there as well. Because this is awesome. And instead of buying all the Ranger foam applicators. We just bought dowels. Just bought dowels and cut them and bought some velcro and stuck it to it. Way cheaper. So if you don't mind not having the handle part, then that's a lot less a lot less money. Okay, my island. This is a beauty. And I, this is as far as I can back up so I can't get a really good view. So my husband made it. And it comes apart in... I know this one side will be one piece, I believe, and the other side's another piece, and then the top. So it has to come apart in order for it to go upstairs because of its size, because of the way it was built, because it's so heavy <laughs> it has to come apart to go upstairs. So my husband built it, I painted it and I did like an old I'll be able to show you better when it moves upstairs but it's an old distress look I 
did a distress finish on it and I made, well I bought plain wooden, wooden um, drawer pulls and I painted them all. And I did them all differently. There's a picture on my Instagram somewhere. So I painted them all different. And I love them. I was going to buy some. Like I wanted to buy really pretty doorknobs. But they were so expensive. Like to get pretty patterns. And I just could not bring myself to spend the money on it. So that's why I bought the wooden ones. And painted them. And then these little things. Hold on. These are little bread things that I bought at Michael's. And I just poked those in there to add a little interest. And then burnished them so they're easy to clean. So in my top drawer, and we have the drawer slides. They're the ones that will extend all the way out. So I have my archival ink pads and Dilusions paper, Tim Holtz stickers, the word stickers, and a bunch of the tags that I think they sold. Yeah, I got them on Simon Says Stamp. It's supposedly the tags that Tim Holtz use. which are probably ones that you can just buy at any office supply store. And Diane's acrylic ruler journal block things. So that's the top drawer. And I love these drawers. And when we were designing the island, like I told him I want big drawers. And I kind of, before he built it, I kind of like I tried to think what I would put inside them so they could be we could plan accordingly for the size of the drawers so this one is my Ranger this is how I was storing all my Ranger ink pads which are still fine for the distress ink ones but I found like I heard things about the Distress Oxides saying not to store them on their sides. And then other people were saying, you know, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But I didn't want to take the chances because they're not cheap. And I don't want to spend all that money and then have them wrecked. And honestly, this is easier. Because my husband put this little groove here so I can just this is all this is what's great about having your husband be handy you can tell him how you would like it so I made sure he put this thing here so the ink pads were easy to get out so this is much easier not that this is difficult I mean just sometimes you might have to take out more than one to get the one that you want but this works quite well also, I have a few of the purchased ink blenders, but I did ended up doing the um, same idea. Just getting some wood, cutting them in shape, Velcro, and the foam applicators. That way you can have one, and that's only if you want one for every color, which I did, because I didn't want to fool around with having to take the, the pad off, because, look, see, my Velcro is missing. That's what tends to happen. There it is. When you keep changing them, they kind of get loose. But I've seen where people will put a staple down through the Velcro into the foam so it stays on. But honestly, I'd much rather just have one for every single color. And that's why I went the cheaper route with just getting some wood and cutting them. 
So I have my ink pads and then my inkers. I do not, I don't own all of the colors in the Distress inks. And I do not have all the re-inkers. And I don't have all the re-inkers for the Distress Oxides either. I'm not in a huge rush because I don't need them re-inked yet. <laughs> then I have some baby wipes, clear embossing powder, um, some extra foams. And this is the... Let's see if I can open it with one hand. I don't think it's going to happen. Oh. The ink thing for alcohol inks. So I have the colors on one side and then I did a little chart so I know what is what color. And I feel like I saw this idea from somebody. I don't think it was my idea, but I have no idea if it was or not. I have no idea. I'm not going to say it's my idea because I have no idea. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I feel like I got the idea from somebody else. My throat is getting dry from talking so much. Oops, it's because I have that towel there. This drawer could be better organized. I have some gelatos, some gouache, um, just knickknacks, the mini art stones. The mermaid marker pen thingies, art alchemy waxes, some brusho, some pastels, chalk pastels, and some drawing pencils, some good watercolor paints. I ordered one pack and there was a paint missing, so they actually sent me, instead of just sending me the one color that was missing, they sent me a whole other pack and told me to keep the original. Wasn't that awesome? My Jane Davenport watercolor paints, which I actually really do like. Just some odd things for gel printing that I would try. Baby powder, baby oil for conditioning my plate, hand sanitizer. And this is something that I think I'm going to change as well. This is my paint drawer. And yeah, I think I'm going to, instead of storing my paint in here like this, I'm going to keep it in one of these. Because I put this paint, all these golden paints, they were usually right here, but I took them, and then the smaller ones were on that shelf. But I put them in there when I did that um, playing outside, the gel plating. Gel plating. <laughs> I've been talking too long. <sighs> I'm actually getting tired of talking. My husband may be shocked. Anyway. I put the paints in this cart and the other supplies so I could go outside and play and I think I'm going to continue to store my paints that way. But I have my Distress Oxide sprays in there which maybe I'll move the sprays to a drawer. Not this one because this one's pretty deep. But I'll play around with the storage. Maybe I'll put on my like I had this is more crafters workshop like gesso and modeling paste so maybe I'll keep that stuff in here move all my paints to the cart there's coffee <laughs> from gel printing and this I'll open hold on 
design the bottom two drawers to fit all my stamps. Now all the stamps in this drawer barely get used because this is from my scrapbooking days. So they don't get used too often. And there's some that it wouldn't bother me to get rid of, but there's others that I will not part with. And sometimes I actually use them for mixed media, especially if they're like a pattern. But then these are mostly um, Diane Reevely, Dina Wakely, and Tim Holtz, and some Carabelle. So that's pretty much, I devoted a drawer to Ranger and then I ended up getting some Carabelle and they're so huge that I had to store them that way. You know, this drawer has, I don't own a lot of Copics. Those are the ones I have. And then these are markers that were, actually I think my husband bought me these one Christmas to try and these containers I love and I got them from Michaels I don't know the brand name oh wait snapware so they have these little latches on the side Two tier. So, oh, sorry, my fingers are hurting. <laughs> um, focus. I believe this would be so much better done with my phone. So, I have my pit and my Stabilo, all woodies that I want to get in the habit of using more. Because everybody raves about them. And I barely used mine, so I want to play with them more. So that's the bottom, and in the top it's Sharpies and gel pens. And then I have another one with my Distress Crayons and my Distress Markers. I next to never use the Distress Markers, but I do use the Distress Crayons. And I have a few pan pastels, not very many. And I don't know if I'll bother to buy any more because I don't think I use them enough to justify it. And if I do buy more, it'll probably be if I want a particular color. These containers, honestly, sandwich meat. That's what they're from. At our store, I can't remember the name. I think it's Bulldog. Which seems like a very odd name for a sandwich meat. Anyways, there's bagged. The sandwich meat comes in a bag inside this container. And these containers are great for art supplies. And it's free. So I have my oil pastels. Crepa oil pastels and chalk pastels and then this is my ink tense pencils which are beautiful this was a Christmas gift like most of my art supplies that are a bit pricier I don't just on a whim buy them usually I wait and when it's like Christmas or my birthday I'll ask for that these are my Prismacolor pencils and what's this? Oh, I bought some washable markers. I think I want to try them on the gel plate, and I never did. There's some other markers. And these are just cheap Artist Loft oil pastels. And some makeup wedges for, you know, my stenciling. This drawer See, this makes me happy when it's all nice and organized. <laughs> but I have enamels that I never use. I saw something and I thought it was cool and I wanted to try it. So I bought some and now I can't remember what I bought it for. 
Isn't that bad? So bad. I have some Perfect Pearls. Alcohol Blending Solution. And these are <laughs> so old. From my scrapbooking days. I, I, do they even make them anymore? I have no idea. Because I don't scrapbook anymore. But Tattered Angel. Angels Glimmer Mist. Like all the different brands. Um, is this Heidi Swap Shimmers? No. Shimmers is its own brand. But I have tons of shimmer spray. And I do have Heidi Swap because I loved hers as well. Actually, I used to love everything Heidi Swap did. But I have a lot of her inks. Which I still could use for mixed media. I just don't think about it. And I have some um, Distress Paint. I don't have a lot, but I do have some. And some a few Distress Stains. And this is my... Well, I used to do a lot of Diane Reevely style stuff. And I don't as much so more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't talk. I don't do it so much <laughs> anymore. But this drawer, oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> when I put everything in it and organized, it was like... You know how they do it on TV? Like the... Of it. Yeah, that's what I felt when with this drawer. So it is organized. Let me make sure it's focused because you can't miss out. So it is organized, so it had to double up. So it'll be two different paint colors, and then I'll have the Dilutions ink spray with it and its blending tool. How awesome is that? So my husband made dividers for me and this was a drawer that was designed specifically for this. And when I did it, I'm like, okay, she cannot come out with any more paint colors because I have no more room. But now it's been so long since I've used them all the paints are probably like hockey pucks now because it has been so long and they do dry up. So yeah, such a pretty drawer. I need to get back into using this stuff. And I have her shimmer sprays stored on their side. But yeah, pretty drawer. It's like one of my favorite drawers. <laughs> And the top one, I like having these little shallow drawers. This is foam tape. I found this big reel. I think it was like $14 at a craft store in, I think it was London, Ontario. And I've had it for probably three years or more. Some Tim Holtz tissue paper stuff, some cling wrap, some odds and, and some charcoal pencils, the cutting blades for the paper trimmer, Tim Holtz binder thingies, plastic for doing that technique I like with um, the Distress Oxide inks. Some notes, notepads, dictionary paper, just some squeegee like things, my Tim Holtz ruler, my double sided sticky tape, and that's one of those static thingies for embossing. So yeah, that's that side of the island. Okay, so the way these these drawers are not as deep as the other side because I didn't need them all to be that deep and I didn't want my island to be too huge. 
So, oy. um, this one has this old big stapler for the the wider staples. This is not focusing. And again, this is from my scrapbooking days. The stuff is so old, so old. The Zyron sticker maker. And those old fashioned label thingies with the tape. Paper tagger. <laughs> And the things that you use for it. a circle cutter because I suck at circles. Another type of circle cutter. <laughs> and I think this is another <laughs> kind of circle cutter. Because <laughs> I, I am so bad at circles. But yeah, if there was a circle cutter, I bought it. Glue gun, label maker. This is the old Making Memories eyelet setter. And some glue sticks. This one has some eyelets and some brads. Some wooden spools. Little tiny beads and sequins and magnets. This has an old Making Memories eyelet setter. And this old Making Memories, remember there would be like these metal tags and you could put paper and stuff in them? And then you'd put it in there and you'd squeeze it. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Holtz has one now and it's a lot smaller, but these things. And a wood burning tool thing. That is okay. I do have something wrong with me if I'm keeping all the packaging from my art foamies. I think I may have done that for the names, maybe. And below is just a container with some ribbon in it. <laughs> Another thing that's super old that I never use. Flowers. More flowers. And then that drawer has my bind it all and my ATC runner glue thing. And my zetter to distress it all. Old scrapbooking tools. Okay, now I'm going to pull all these out. I don't think too much of this will change. We have my embossing powders and some glitter that I don't use a whole lot. Ink pads. Again, all from my scrapbooking days. Some, um, what is it called? I don't know. It's colored thread, anyway. And just measuring tape, glue gun, some plastic gloves. This is odds and ends. Just storage tins, business cards. Some old Heidi Swap stuff. Some pencil cases from when I was a part of a planner, planner society kit, I believe it was. And there's some gesso and modeling paste. So I think that's it for this room. Oh, this is my current camera setup. All I have for lighting, I have been asked, is these two ceiling lights. And then I have a lamp on my desk. And that's all I use for lighting for my videos. And then I have the tripod with a little hook so it stays on my ceiling and that's what I do for my filming. 
So now I will take you upstairs and I will show you where I am going to be moving.